Hey, y'all, y'all tuned in right now to that Hood Talk News, man. That's your boy, Big Panamera, JT Bigger Figure in Lockstone, Blackstone. You dig all the way from Fillmore, Africa, man. Keep pushing, my G. Man, you already know what it is. All money in, no money out. Jay Stone from the east to the west. You already know, man. Shout out to Hood Talk News. You already know. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man. We're going to talk about this Tupac murder, man. We got to tell the truth, man. We got to tell the truth. Now, I'm watching this video of goddamn uh, Kevin Hackey, and he's talking about how he's going. He's offering Reggie $100,000 to come, you know, take the polygraph test. You know what I'm saying? Because he know he was involved in Tupac and Biggie murder. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Y'all scared of Reggie. Y'all won't talk about Reggie. Y'all Reggie and Ball. Listen, let me tell you something about Hood. Hood ain't scared to talk about nobody. I don't care who you is. Because the things that I throw out, you know what I'm saying? I only throw out the real. God damn it. If it that ain't, I ain't got nothing against nobody. See, a lot of people come on this mug and they have a, a personal beef with these people. I don't have no personal beef. You get what I'm saying? You, I don't look at people, oh, I just don't like him, so he did it. No, I don't do that. I try to dive in and see what's going on around the case and stuff. You get what I'm saying? Now, this guy, Kevin, offered Reggie $100,000 to take this test, okay? Reggie told him to come on with it. Now, I don't know Reggie. Me and Reggie ain't no friends. We ain't got nothing going on. But I'm looking at this for what it is. A lot of people, I know a lot of people don't like Reggie. But Reggie told him to come on with it. Now, goddamn, if a man telling you, come on, I'll take the polygraph test, $100,000, Reggie was ready to take his money because he know they didn't have anything to do with that. Now, at least for the Tupac, now, I don't know what went on with Biggie. Now, I don't know if Reggie had something to do with that. But I think that was get back. The only thing I could think of is two scenarios around Biggie case, right? Because you got, you got man, a lot of people talk, oh, Pop was part of the Panthers, and he was doing this black, his family was in the Black Panther, and boo, woo, woo. Listen, man, listen. The leader of the Black Panther got on crack in the 90s, man. They wasn't fearing anybody talking about no goddamn Black Panthers after the Black Panther movement was over with. Tupac was just a rapper talking like most rappers was talking, goddammit. They wasn't in no fear of that shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, they wanted them Biggie and Dead because they, they backgrounds and Pac background. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. It's two scenarios, like I said, around Biggie case. This is what this this, this is the two scenarios. One, like the dude, the informant said, it could have been one of the, you know, the, the, the uh, soft sides because they was mad at Puff because Puff didn't goddamn pay that money. Or it could have been Shook, mad as hell, Puff gone, and said, hey, Puff, nigga, you ain't finna have now, but I ain't got now. You ain't finna have no successful artists over here eating and Puff gone, and you still got big, and you niggas is, is basically saying, you know, little sarcastic stuff and songs like y'all picking. Okay, we got to end this. We got to end this. So that's the two scenarios I'm going to go with. It's either probably one or the other. But when we jump off talking about, you know, and I believe, listen, when they say cricket cops was involved, I believe cricket cops was involved this way. Should hire some off-duty or uh, 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 not non-working goddamn police, that was already cricket. That don't mean the whole goddamn, you know, the force cricket, you know, everybody in the police station had something to do with it. I don't think that. But I think, yeah, it was some cricket cops that was involved, that was working for sure, you know, off, off, off the clock, doing some shit. I don't think they were going back reporting to their goddamn captain saying, yeah, we're going to get Tupac today and Biggie tomorrow. I don't think it was like that. I think these niggas was doing some shit behind their uh, 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 goddamn police station back, goddamn it. Just like they say one uh, one of the cops that were working with it was... Uh, Arrested for a bank robbery and all types. So they, they, these niggas was cricket anyway. Goddamn, y'all watch Denzel and goddamn train the day. That don't mean the whole goddamn police force was cricket. It was his ass. You get what I'm saying? So 
That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. When it comes down to this, yes, I agree with y'all. I believe it was some cricket cops involved, right? But I don't think it was a conspiracy by, you know, the government and all this motherfucker. I don't think so, man. Now, if Pop or Biggie would have died a different way and we couldn't have seen this, then I probably would have thought so. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say, oh, they set it up. They set it up. It was, it was woo, woo, woo. Man, listen, let me tell y'all something. Around that time, Tupac got killed. Man, we had a bunch of other goddamn terrorists that, that was uh, really a threat to America. Little black kid from the hood that's talking trash in his rap, you know what I'm saying, and saying little stuff, really wasn't a threat to America, man. Look at what they coming with, man. So how can we really be a threat? Now, when you look at Dr. King and you look at Malcolm X, they was in a time in where black people ain't have nothing to lose, nigga. You doing this to my kids, my family? Nigga, we can't, you know, can't do nothing. We damn near slaves. You know what I'm saying? So hey, we have nothing to lose. We fighting for something to gain, goddammit. Right now, we have nothing to lose. Now, we have a lot to lose. You get what I'm saying? King was coming up uh, in front of everywhere they was at with a goddamn, uh, 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 um, goddamn hundreds and thousands of people falling behind him. You get what I'm saying? Now, P Tupac had 100,000 people falling behind him in his goddamn music, maybe millions, right? But you got you to gotta think about it. You're living in a time where people have a lot to lose. See, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. When you when you in a time where people got a lot to lose, it ain't gonna be too it ain't gonna be too many people jumping out there doing nothing. I don't care what they say. They could say all the stuff they want to say about this or that, and they'll do this or that. Man, come on, that's bull. Ain't nobody finna listen. You got your established household. We ain't living in poverty no more. You got your established household. Even the people that's poor, there's all kind of systems out there where they ain't living like that no more. People have a lot to lose, man. You think people finna let go everything they got going on to jump out here and say, oh, man, man I'm finna, woo, woo, woo. come on, man. We, we're not in them, them days and time no more. And listen, you know who know that? The people that got them control this world. Y'all don't, when, when you see a movement going a certain way, they control that shit. So they know what they gave us. They know what we're willing to do and what we're willing not to do. God damn it. They say, get the niggas a little more. You know, give, yeah, we are, man. Come on now. The, the little food stamps and the goddamn uh, 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 hood houses and stuff. That stuff ain't, that ain't gonna goddamn work. The low income house, that ain't gonna work, God damn it. These niggas still out here going crazy. We gotta make them a little more comfortable, just a little more comfortable. So they wouldn't be willing to put shit on the line. You get what I'm saying? Niggas ain't willing to put that. Did we not in the Dr. King, Malcolm X days when they say, damn, how can one dude have, how, how can one nigga have that much goddamn power? We're not in them goddamn days no more, goddamn it. They got ways to push a button and shut that shit down now. Back then, they ain't, they ain't know how to deal with it. Now they do, goddamn it. Now they goddamn do. You get what I'm saying? So we got to get shit out of our mind and keep thinking, oh, we power, we do this, that, man. Listen, man, they ain't worrying about no rapper. Trust me, man. They ain't worrying about no rapper, man. They go all these other countries and pull motherfuckers out of holes and everything. You think they worrying about a rapper over here talking? Come on, man. I think what happened that night was a crime of passion. I hope I'm saying that right. Well, Tupac got into some stuff with this guy here, Orlando. And regardless of who stuck their hand out the goddamn window that night, it was all about revenge. And I think Biggie died. It was all about revenge. You get what I'm saying? It was all about revenge. But for me to believe it went under in any other way, Man, y'all got to show me some hardcore proof why these guys was killed by any other source, goddammit, and why would they want them killed? 
You get what I'm saying? One thing, us, I, I swear, you know, and I, and, I, and I don't like to put us down as a people, man, because I think we the smartest people ever, but we the dumbest motherfuckers too. You get what I'm saying? Because we don't know how. We so smart, we'll figure it out in two seconds. But we let our brains run other places. We already have it figured out from the beginning. We are we in these neighborhoods. We know how it go down. We know how a nigga can get mad and come back and kill you. We done seen this before. But somehow we get off track and let our brains go other places. When we solve the case on day one, we know how this shit go down. We got to start sticking to what we know and start all this goddamn uh, uh, goddamn fantasy, fantasy shit, goddamn it, all up in that goddamn, come on, man. We got to come back down to reality. We know what we know, goddamn it. We see this shit every day. Jealousy, envy, and goddamn hate. And we know how motherfucker play. So let's, let's be smarter than this, man. Let's stop being the smartest but dumbest motherfuckers. Because you got to think of when I say we the smartest but dumbest motherfucker, we create everything in goddamn America damn near. All the culture, everything. But who get paid the less? We do. You know why? Because we keep being fucking delusional, man. And I hate to talk to us like that. But we got to wake up. We know what's going on. Man, them motherfuckers sitting back laughing like these niggas is just goddamn sleeping and walking and, and goddamn eating and talking. To these same type of people, right, every day. They know how this stuff go down. But they'll let us come. Sell them a book. Sell them a movie. Sell them a whole goddamn dream of how it really go and how it really went when they right there next to it. Goddamn. Man, I tell you, man. They take our music from us, right, and tell us what's the top music, goddamn it, when we done created all, goddamn it. All of it coming. Elvis was taken from us, too. God damn it, all of it come from us. All of it. God damn it, ever stole so much but goddamn Lil' Richard? Come on, man. Y'all, listen, man. Listen, but who's the biggest? He stole from Lil' Richard, Richard, but who's the biggest? God damn it, he is. Lil, I'm not being Elvis. God damn it. When Lil' Richard was the goddamn creator. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just using that as an example, god damn it. But hey, man, I just came to bring y'all that. Keep your eyes open, man. Look at a situation for what it really is, man. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the realest platform on the planet. Hood Talk News. I'm out. Young Nap, baby. But I know. I just wanna take the time to really get to know ya. Got so many thoughts in my head, I wanna show ya. I don't really know ya, I just wanna hold ya. Is it cause of him? Why you acting bipolar? Last time I see me and you had a conversation, even had a smile when I told you that I'm gon' take you, baby girl. He don't make you got your heart, don't let him break you. Shotty be a 20 out of 10, ain't no need to rate you, baby girl. So fly, brought tears to my eyes. Every time I hear your story and how he put you down, let me turn that frown around. I promise I stay down, I fly you to my and me and take you away from this clown We can spend some time So drop that ego I see you come meet some different people Cause girl I know how to treat you Promise I won't deceive you I told my mama about you And now she wanna meet you Girl you one of them ones So let a nigga treat you Baby I don't know you But it shows And you know You're so beautiful Baby I don't know Something I want, I go and get it I don't think they get it, you gotta make them feel it Baby girl, they nothing like me, I stand on business Coming right out with a boss and we can get it Ain't no no small time shit, cause I'm the biggest Leave him in his feelings, I'm so like we chillin' Take you to the top and watch this sight from my building I said I'm rich, I'm building, I'm tryna get some millions Keep that 4 5 cock, but I ain't looking for no killings Baby girl, I'm serious, how you think I'm dealing? I can see it in your eyes, you tired, you need some healing You feelin'? Baby, I don't know you, but it shows, and you know you're so beautiful, baby. I don't know you, but I know, and it shows you're such a beautiful soul.
So be-